Number 35, apply the junction rule at point A in figure 21.52. All right, so here's that figure. And uh, right over here is point A. So we have to apply the junction rule. So basically the junction rule, very straightforward. All it says is that the sum of all the currents, so the sum of all the currents that flow into a junction, minus all the sum of all the currents that flow out of the junction must equal zero. All right, um, it's fairly straightforward. Um, it's basically the same thing as kind of like that loop rule um, with voltage, except this time we're talking about current. So in other words, that the total amount of current or the sum of the current in must equal the sum of the current out of the junction. So if you take a look at the picture, it looks like they detailed I3 flowing in to junction A. So I put I3 over here. And then it looks like coming out of that junction, they wrote I2 and then they wrote I1. So it would just be I2 plus I1. So you can leave it in this form, that I3 has to equal the sum of I2 uh, plus, whoops, so I1, should have been I1 there. Um, or you could have written it, uh, you know, in this kind of fashion, you could have written it as I3 minus I2 plus I1. Obviously this is just algebra now, equals zero, it doesn't matter. All right, but inflow has to equal out, fairly straightforward. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. Please remember to help us out and hit that like button, subscribe, and tell your friends. We'll see you soon. Take care.